Okay, now I got the coil pointed right at the battery. Even at my highest voltages, I can't even read it. It must be over a thousand volts. And it had 12.64 volts when I started. 12.65 again when I started. So I don't know what to say here. It's uh, High voltage coming right back into the inverter. Both leads, positive and negative polarity poles, and even the whole battery. I can't read any voltages. Maybe I should go AC, huh? Nothing on AC either. Nothing on DC, nothing on AC. Freaking radiant energy is only measured by this high voltage probe. Now it's going through the whole box. I wasn't doing that before. There's no reading. I never hear the fan kick in. I don't know how it's acting, but it sure is acting weird. There's about a two to three inch radio radiant energy coming from everything except the wood. Of course it's in the lamp and of course it's radiating from here. About a foot and a half away. Even the well, that's this here. Now running this length of time, I got nine forty almost. I got high, really high voltages going into the everything here, anything metallic, even plastic. Going through the inverter, even right through everything. That's that radiant energy, it's like plasma or gas, it goes through everything. And I'm only using 370 to 380 milliamps. What about this? That. What if I put it on here? Yep, it's going through that now. Because the uh, case is only that far away. And I touch this. I'm not even touching it. So there's a radiant energy definitely all over the place here. Going right through the wood. And what I can't understand why my battery ain't going dead. Should be going dead. <laughs> I think it's with the flow of the, uh, at the rate the spark gap is. But the light ain't flickering unless it's so and so fast. Can't determine. Look at those voltages, they're off the scale here. 
It's always around 370, 380 milliamps. This runs at one amp. It's not using the full one amp, it's only using 370 to 380 milliamps. Going through everything, even my multimeter leads. fringes of the uh, wave here, the uh, field strength flux or whatever. Now I'm going to go get my uh, multi my uh, frequency counter. Okay, 72, then it gets closer, it goes higher, 28, 33 kHz, 38 kHz, 40 kHz, 38 kHz. I go further away, it just drops, those are the harmonics. And further away now, I get close again. Definitely higher. 29 kilohertz. 29 kilohertz. Forty-three kilohertz when I touch it. I'm touching it. Thirty-five kilohertz. These are the lamp. Look at that, 40 kilohertz right touching it. Leads coming off the high voltage. It's 28 kilohertz, holding pretty steady there too. Pretty close to steady. 28 kilohertz. Even on the lows, the high side is 29 kilohertz, 30. The low side of the flyback, 28. Holding pretty steady, too. Those are hertz, 28,005. And over here, there's a different radiation going on here, 40 kilohertz. See? Something different going on here. And the, the battery should be going dead. Should be going dead. Kilohertz to the ferrite. And I'm not touching the ferrite though. 27 kilohertz to 28 kilohertz on the low side. Let me see, it's pretty steady. That one up to 60 kilohertz. I get it. 33. Let's start it again. One second. Fifty. Not saying sixty kilohertz. And this one up to forty. Four hundred ten. There's something changing here. The frequency just adjusts itself. Is there a red line? Twenty-nine. Thirty. The blue line, 30, 29. The red cold side of the flyback, now it's back to 29. Hot side of the flyback. It's like there's a few frequencies going on here adjusting itself. That's all pretty constant there. Every one second this thing will read it. 
this one down again. I'm going to turn out my probe is just going crazy here. Turn it off. Don't even. I know there's high frequency. So when I go away, twenty-five kilohertz hitting this aluminum rail. Twenty-seven, thirty-seven. How about the ground over here? Twenty-eight kilohertz on the ground. It's not even hooked up. I don't get it. Where are these frequencies coming from? If I extend the antenna all the way, the cold side of the flyback went down a little bit. Oh, there's 30 kilohertz. 29 to 30 to 28. I don't know, I don't want to touch any short out in my meter here. It's higher when I go to the copper tube coil than when I go on the blue coil. It's a higher for 47 kilohertz, 44 kilohertz. And when I go on the uh, lamp line, to the lamp. I'm gonna go this one and lift it up. 27, 31 kilohertz. Still got high voltages though. I know the frequencies are not locked on. It's just using them at random frequencies. Whatever it wants to according to spark gap. That spark gap is pretty straight there. Touch it, touching the case of the inverter. 36 kilohertz, 38 kilohertz, 39. When I can draw the antenna down, it goes down. When I go into it, touching the case. It goes up. Look at that. Hitting certain harmonics here, of course. And let go of it. So it's about 33, 34 kilohertz. The battery, right over the top, flat down, hitting the battery cover on the top, 37, 38 kilohertz. Touching the cable on the negative side through the Insulation, I got 31, 29, 29 kilohertz, 29 kilohertz, 3, 30. I go to the positive side, 30 again. Definitely some frequency going right back into the battery. Definitely. So, I don't know. I'll leave it alone. It's been running like this with the battery going now for at least, I don't know, 10 minutes. I'm going to let it run. That's it. I got super high voltage on AC DC here reading off the, the battery. I mean, to the inverter even. It doesn't matter. No more diode. Took the diode off. Diode is off. I got a battery running about 40, 40 amps, uh, 40 watts on a 100 watt lamp filament tungsten. And it's not dead yet.
tried to make the L1 coil float with some foam around it so it can ring. But the blue coil, the L2 coil, is flat against the PVC. I don't know. Nice day out here, though. Feels like about 55 or 60 degrees. I don't know where. I don't know why I'm wearing my coat, but there's breeze, and it's only March, March 8th, Tuesday, 2016. 10 to 10. That thing's still running. I'm gonna cut off the camera and just let it run for a while, and I'll get back with it.